the word sutra in Sanskrit means sutra, 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 stitch, an intention that embodies a whole context, meaning, story, relationship, etc. So sutras are aphorisms that have some meaning and mantras are similar. Mantras are vehicles <coughs> of the mind to take you beyond the mind into the source of the mind with the source of thought, which is, which is uh, pure consciousness, which has all the attributes that I mentioned in my first session with you. So these have their source in the wisdom traditions. And let me share with you how I practice them. And um, then you're free to adapt or do whatever you want if you want to, if you understand the principle. The basis of all sutra, every sutra, is that my true identity is not local, but non-local. My true identity is not form and phenomena. My true identity is the formless infinite that experiences itself as form and phenomena. And because that infinite being is all possibilities and synchronicity and spontaneously creative, that if I can remember to shift my provisional identity to my real identity, then that's all I need to do. And then I have an intention. You have an intention. You reflect on that intention. Through one way or another, you go to the source, stillness, silence meditation, or vipassana, observing of breath, observing of sensations in the body, observing of sensory experience, aware, observing of uh, the web of relationship, and ultimately being aware of the observer, being aware of being aware, observing the observer. That's how we move in this direction. It's fascinating when you realize that everything is awareness, everything is made out of awareness, that the raw material of the universe is not matter, that the essential stuff of the universe is non-stuff, and it's you. <laughs>